hello guys uh, so a uh, few sessions uh, we saw about how to do uh, or how to retrieve the data using the entity framework uh, into the web api and uh, we got the result like this uh, so uh, now we go uh, to work in the front end so here i'm planning to uh, go with angular js uh, to uh, retrieve this data and display uh, in the view uh, so uh, today's topics I going to cover is uh, so already few sessions I covered basics of Angular JS so directly I will go and add uh, my uh, codes directly over there if you have any doubt of basics uh, just to go through my previous uh, session videos in the playlist you will uh, get the better idea Okay, I just uh, go on to uh, add my uh, Angular JS library. So I go and um, take from the NuGet package. So I take Angular JS so I'm just installing this. I have now latest version of one point or five point three. If you don't have a basic idea of Angular JS, please go through the uh, previous uh, session. Uh, actually, uh okay uh, if you are a beginner you don't want to go for the basics so you can understand easily because uh, from the scratch i am going to develop this one uh, so no issues actually angular js is very lightweighted and uh, uh, it is en enhanced for the web apps uh, okay uh, so uh, here angular js is uh, Angular JS is uh, used mainly for a single page applications, so you can uh, you know, use uh, uh, all the RESTful operation in the single page to maintain and the code flexibility is very good here. Okay, my Angular uh, library got uh, added. If I go in the script, I will see all my Angular stuff added here. So, everything everything is added here okay fine uh, now uh, no issues uh, I just uh, go to my uh, home controller Okay, I just uh, created my section script that I rendered from the master page. I just to take a uh, Angular JS mini drag and drop. So now, now my library is uh, referred here. Uh, fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to create uh, one more uh, uh, folder called JS. Uh, okay. In that, uh, I just add app.js so this also I am referring to my page so here um, my all my uh, render uh, code will be there okay fine 
okay let's start uh, creating module of angular js so where uh, here i i just want to retrieve my uh, students uh, data so i just uh, name as a student app okay angular dot module i give as a module name as student app okay fine uh, so my module is created now next uh, i going to create uh, my service uh, so uh, before i going to uh, tell you this i just want to explain you the basic steps uh, so here actually three main uh, so we are uh, we have a uh, three main um, functions like a uh, module a uh, service and controller this is a three layer that uh, will uh, talk to each other and get the result one is a module module uh, uh, have it it's contain the controller services the total structure it will be there the controller it will help to uh, talk with the service and get the data services uh, is used to uh, is is used to provide the data uh, to the controller uh, so uh, so let me go and create my service first Okay, this function is defined in HTTP protocol. It will return So oh, this is my API call. Okay, now my uh, service is ready. So next step, uh, I going to create my controller. I just to keep uh, stood. 
printer function my object or scope so uh, scope is uh, helps to uh, hold the data uh, to the view uh, or uh, we can uh, uh, talk uh, to the view it's like a uh, MDC model uh, so uh, scope uh, will have all the models entities objects okay here here I'm passing my service okay dot all student dot success scope dot Thank you. 